Zadim is with us in Seattle. Is it Zadim? Is that correct? Yes, that is correct. How are you, Dave? Better than I deserve. What's up? Well, anyway, um, I have a little bit of a dilemma here. I've been following your program for a couple of years now, and we've actually reached a point where we are pretty close to being debt-free except the mortgage. Good. And I just got excited, and I kind of went out to get a new truck. Um, I've been averaging to pay taxes probably ten, eleven thousand 11000 in the past couple of years, and I thought the tax breaks are worth getting a new truck. So I didn't pay it off. I'm going to have a payment, of course, but I'm just trying to ask if it's a good idea or not. Well, you know the answer to that. Well, I just want to consider the the benefits, the tax benefits. Because I mean, I'm coughing up extra taxes every year, and I just thought it'd be trucks worth it. don't give you a tax benefit. Well, I'm a contractor, so I'm getting a I'm getting a, a tax break, a business write off, basically. Yeah, what do you so, make a year? Um, take home is around sixty five to seventy. Okay, and so you're in a. What a probably a fifteen percent tax bracket in the year twenty eighteen, and so for every ten thousand dollars you spent, you saved fifteen hundred dollars. How is that smart? Well, it's just this year has been a pretty good year, so I'm kind of. No, you misunderstood. Let me try again. For every ten thousand dollars you spend, it saves you one thousand five hundred in taxes. Okay. Well, that does yeah, not equate to smart. Okay, that brings up another question then. They, there's a new law where I can write off up to $18,000 on depreciation for this current year. Yeah. So if I can write off extra... So you're going to go borrow $18,000 to create an $18,000 write-off. Dude, you got to stop I mean, playing these games. You're going to be broke your whole life doing that crap. So, no, 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 no. A write-off is not smart. It's not, You don't do stuff for tax reasons. It never equals 100 cents on the dollar, ever. And so, I know the new law. I I'm, I'm run a business. Uh, so, um, no. I mean, um, you do whatever you want to do, okay? That, that's, that's what you get to do. But you called me and asked me. After you said, I'm working your plan. And, and so, no, no. The, you know, what I'm going to teach you to do is the shortest path to wealth. And no one has ever gotten wealthy going, tax breaks made me wealthy. That's complete BS. Tax breaks don't make you wealthy. There's not a chance of that. You wanted a dadgum truck. That's all it is. And you went and bought a dadgum truck. And now you're trying to figure out some way that that's smart when you had to borrow money to buy the dadgum truck. And so, no, there's not a way that that's going to turn into smart. There's, not a, there's, not a, there's no, no amount of mental or mathematical gymnastics that you're going to be able to do that creates smart out of this. So, no, no, you shouldn't have done that. And, yes, you need to sell it and whatever else. I mean, uh, thanks for the call. Open phones at 888 825 there's always a way you can rationalize stuff, folks. You can always figure out a way to talk yourself into something being smart. But the, the things that some of the most profound and sophisticated things that you'll ever do or understand in your life are very easy to understand. They're just hard to do. Things like tell the truth. You know what to do, and you can skirt it, and you can figure out a way around it. Love your neighbor. Well, I'm doing this to love them. No, you're just not loving them. That's what it comes down to. You just don't have the bones to love them right. Right? And, yeah, you can go borrow money and try to figure out some way it's sophisticated, but it doesn't work. It doesn't work, folks.